Hello everybody, my name is Antwam, and this is just a quick little video. Basically saying that I'm going to be finishing uh, the Kaiserreich Sweden campaign. Uh, so last episode just would have went up maybe half an hour before this video. Uh, is going to be the conclusion of the series. I know it's kind of like a... Kind of like a damper note to end off on. But my reasoning is, is that... There's no real way to win this scenario. I know I've said that before. I think it was episode 20 uh, when I last said, you know, this situation's unwinnable. Just giving up entirely because we can't win. Uh, this time's for real. And my reasoning for that uh, comes to a few reasons. One of them is if you look at this, if you look at just us versus the international, versus basically everybody that we're at war with. One, we're the only country not capitulated. Uh, Central America is going to capitulate in just a moment. Canada is Canada like you know what are they going to do over in middle of nowhere it's really just coming down to us with the control of the majority of the international forces under our command uh we have 1.71 million manpower at minimum they have 16.8 million so we're about to set like eight to one ratio at best it's probably actually worse than it's probably like 10 it's about 10 to one a 10 to 1 ratio for combatants to us? That's really, really, really bad. Uh, if you look at factories, we have 261, 261 factories. And they are looking, well, basically at minimum having 1,500 factories. So they have like about 8 times more factories than we do. And there's really nothing I, I think we can really accomplish. I Northern France is more or less going to be a stalemate like we can maybe push our way out a little bit but that's really not going to do much like at best uh egypt would capitulate the french republic egypt capitulates the french republic all of this will eventually come to the commune of france germany will invade that and then because i think austria has military access through germany um do they have military access through germany no, but they're giving them taxes to so many people that the Italian Republic also just invade through the south. Which will give basically all of these factions an actual front line. Because right now the French Republic's only getting military access to Germany and to Middle Africa. So those are the two countries. But as soon as it's under German control, all of the Reich's Pact can flood our front line. And as soon as this is on a border with the Italian Republic, all of, uh, how would you say, the uh, Austrian faction will just flood our front line. And that'll be way, way too many troops to actually deal with. Like, at best right now, we can invade and probably take over the rest of uh, Britain. But that's really about it. We're never going to be able to push into Denmark. Naval invasions through anything over here is impossible. And they have naval superiority over a lot of regions. So, yeah. that, that oh, That's basically my reasoning. It's just, it's untenable. We, we can't really get anything done what we've do gotten done has been amazing the fact that we've been able to stand by ourselves we've liberated uh britain and then capitulated again that by no real fault of my own and then i was able to take back this much has been you know, pretty good we've been able to actually get a full hole in france that's pretty good and the fact that we've even capitulated canada and gotten them under control if you know france and britain were able to hold over uh, northern france it could have been a completely different situation but unfortunately they were not able to do that so yeah Overall, we've done fantastic, I think. Um, I, I really like how the Soviet Union can just last forever. Like, they just don't die. But yeah, that's gonna be that's basically my reasoning. So I hope you've enjoyed the series. Uh, there will be, of course, more uh, Hearts of Iron 4 videos coming out soon. Have a great day, and goodbye.